Hi, I'm Dr. Mohan, Professor of Medicine and Biomedical Engineering at the University of Houston. So today we'll be talking about male lupus or men with lupus. So we'll cover four major topics. One, how common is male lupus? Two, we'll look at some of the unique aspects of male lupus. Third, a very important question that men with lupus always ask, and that is, will it affect your fertility? And fourth, we'll touch on some recent research highlights. So let's begin with the first question, how common is it? As you may know, lupus affects mostly women with a 9 to 1 ratio, meaning that if you take 100 patients with lupus, about 90 would be females and 10 would be men. But men do get lupus. Now, who gets lupus? Now, certain ethnicities are more prone to developing lupus. So Black, Hispanic, or Asian men are more likely to develop lupus compared to Caucasian men. Two, there's also a genetic basis, meaning that if there's somebody in your family with lupus or other autoimmune diseases, then you're more likely to develop lupus independent of your gender. And third, what is interesting is that men with lupus are typically diagnosed later. So the average age of a male with lupus is 40, 40 which is slightly older than a female with lupus. So that's how common lupus is. Second, let us look at some unique aspects of male lupus compared to female lupus. Some of the unique things to keep in mind are the following. First, men with lupus are diagnosed later, as we said, with an average age of 40. And one of the reasons for that is that men think that lupus affects only women, Men don't get lupus and that's what they think and that delays the diagnosis. So keep in mind that males do develop lupus. It's important, in fact, to have a high index of suspicion. So things that might make you think that you might have lupus would be unexplained fatigue, unexplained weight loss, fever, joint pains, skin rashes. If any of these are persistent, it's important to get medical attention, to see a physician, to exclude uh, lupus as a diagnosis. Now, it is important to note that the quicker you diagnose the disease, the better is the long-term outcome. So it's important to get medical attention early. Another unique aspect of male lupus is that it might present a little different from females with lupus. For example, males with lupus are more prone to developing cardiovascular complications. So those are diseases that affect your heart or blood vessels. Also, men with lupus tend to have more serious kidney disease or lupus nephritis. You should know that uh, whether you're a male or female, the kidneys can be affected by lupus. And that is not good because renal involvement in lupus increases the morbidity in the disease. And when the kidneys are affected, males suffer more than females. So it's important to look out for possible signs of kidney involvement in a patient with lupus. So those are some of the features where male lupus is a little different from female lupus. Third, we'll address a very important question. Does it affect your fertility? Now, science shows that lupus itself does not affect your fertility, testosterone levels, or sperm count. But there is a caveat, and that is, Certain medications, in particular one called cytoxan, if that is prescribed to you, that can affect your fertility. Except for that exception, lupus by itself does not affect your fertility, sperm counts, or testosterone. Finally, we'll touch on some research highlights. Now, more recently, we know that if we look at the genes for lupus, and lupus definitely is genetic in origin, some of the genes may affect male lupus more than female lupus, whereas some genes may affect female lupus more than male lupus. Um, finding out the genes that are important for male lupus is important because it gives us an idea of how the disease arises. It gives us an idea of the pathogenic mechanisms through which the genes might operate to cause the disease. Another very active area of research is in the area of kidney disease. We already said kidney involvement is more serious in male lupus. There are many labs in the world, including ours, trying to find out if you can identify certain molecules in the urine that might predict how bad the kidney disease is or predict when the kidneys are being affected. 
So in our lab example, we're trying to engineer home-based diagnostic tests that the patient can use at home to try and see whether the kidneys are becoming affected so that you can detect kidney disease early and treat lupus nephritis as early as you can. Because if you start treatment early, the long-term outcome is good. So those are some of the important points to keep in mind when you think about main lupus. So thank you for your time. And keep in mind that more information is available at the Lupus Foundation of America LFA website. And stay informed and stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.